Hi guys, I'm Amarjit here. This is my third video tutorial on Webdyne Pro. Here I am going to demonstrate how to use service call, LV report, and how to handle messages in Webdyne Pro. So here is our SAP Easy Access screen. Go with the transaction SE80, our object navigator. Here uh, choose web dentro component and interfaces give the name as zwdlv1 presenter you want to create it as give the description as lv report window name you can change to uh, window 1 Save it in the local object. It may take a uh, bit time for them. Okay, right click on the set WDRV and create a service call. So this is Webdin Pro Wizard for service call click on the continue use existent controller use the controller choosing F4 uh, double click on component controller choose continue uh, select function module and give the function module name as Z flight details uh, the set flight details is a function module that I already created for this specific application. Uh, if you want to check, uh, click here in the left corner and create a session. Go with the transaction SC37 function builder. Give the name Z flight details. display go with the display mode even uh, you must go with the create mode and create this particular so here I give an import parameter uh, flight parameter name which is of type BAPI SFL KY airline ID and in the tables flight data like BAPI SFL DAT and the return of type Bappy return to and in the source code you can see that I'm calling here a function module uh, Bappy flight get list exporting the airline as uh, flight which I defined in the import parameter and tables as flight data and return that I defined over here so save this particular function module activate the same now close this for now and s give the same uh, function module name over here and go with the continue so you can see that uh, the flight the import parameter flight so choose the object type as parameter of method and flight data you choose a context node or attribute and the same for the return type continue and complete it save it ok expand the views double click on the main view and uh, click on the contacts contacts tab see uh, here the set flight details drag and drop it over contacts main contacts so here all the fields are mapped to the main contacts here you can see that airline ID uh, is of type S care ID so right click on the contacts create one more attribute name it uh, care ID type yes 
char id and save it now go to the outbound plugs create a outbound plug to lb table to lb table save it go to the layout right click and insert an element G group uh, one which of type group text it uh, caption text as airline selection press enter so here in the group itself you insert one more element uh, input field input is of type input field and insert one more element label of type label label for input the center and the text is airline ID so right click on the label plus uh, choose up it looks better now so select the input field here uh, in the input field value you bound the uh, bind the value value to care ID Perfect. so in the group uh, you insert one more element name it uh, button submit which of type button give the text as submit submit and uh, cell design you can choose iPad create an action on submit so for now you save it so uh, in the root element container insert one more element group 2 type group caption uh, text as flight details so here in the group you insert an element view container which of type view container UI element and save it now go to the action tab uh, double click on own submit action here using the web pro code wizard read the context uh, char id into this method so the value of the char id is imported to local variable lv char id go with the web dynamic code wizard in the general tab you can see that method call in used controller select it component name you choose component controller and method name you choose execute z flight details press enter now give the flight equal to the local imported local variable lv char id save it and check for errors now double click on set WDLV in the used component tab give create a new component ALV task which of type SALV WD table press enter this is the standard component that we use in the LV report save it now you can see that component usage expand it interface controller usage double click on it create component controller usage or double click on component controller expand it expand here and drag and drop the flight data or data now you can see a status like external mapping for the context element data was defined 
Now save it. Double click on window 1. Expand the window 1 main. Right click on view container and tempered view. View to be embedded. Choose SAL VWD table. See, uh, verify that uh, view is table. Now, you while expanding, you can see that a default inbound plug is created. Drag and drop the main outbound plug over default plug. Press enter. Save it. Now the links the link for our application is established. Now right click on our set WD LV and create a web design for application with description LV report on flight details. Save it in the local objects. Double click on ZWDLV, save, check, and activate the components. So objects are activated. Expand WebDAN Pro application and test it by right click and right clicking and test. Browser started. In the Internet Explorer, click on the logon, give the username and password the same as your uh, username and password that you given in the logon by logon. So now what we seeing is what we designed in the layout tab. Give the airline double A American Airlines. Click on submit. So now you can see all the American Airlines flight details here. You can see a one a vertical scroll bar. So you can see all the available by scrolling here. And by default you can see that uh, here is a search help available if you are not that aware of airline code. You can use this and it will show all the available flight names, airline airline names. Singapore Airlines, you choose Singapore Airlines and press submit. Now you can see all the Singapore Airline flights, de flight details. So uh, by default here it is 10 rows if you want you can change it by settings clicking on settings click on uh, display tab here displayed rows equal to 10 change to 25 and press enter now you can see that the same report here is showing with the uh, 25 rows the main advantage of using uh, LV report over in a table is that you can group tables and we have more options of user friendliness so if you want to uh, group by arrival city the flight by arrival city just click on arrival city so all the San Francisco flights are grouped together like that all the flights are grouped together by arrival city if you want to uh, group by airport click on the airport and we have much more options like exporting uh, the details into a Microsoft Excel sheet pop in download SQ submit uh, export it to Microsoft Excel open it the same details of Singapore Airlines now you can see in the uh, Microsoft Excel so you can use save it and use in the future so we done with our uh, web dentro application along with the same application uh, you can handle uh, messages for that you go with the web dentro explorer double click on the met main method main view on the action tab on submit double click on on submit so after reading the care ID to LV care ID mm, create a condition like if LV care ID equal to American Airlines or LV care ID equal to 
Singapore Airlines has queue. So some success status. Else so some error status end with end if. For this at the very first you create one a uh, data variable message type type string now uh, here you, we are going to create a success status for that go with the web dendro code wizard in the general tab click on the generate message standard me method is available report success press enter here the data declaration part the message text you give us valid airline receiving the message ID into message and else here you create a error message using web dendro code wizard with a by using a standard method report error message press enter here the data declaration part is not required because it's already done in the first step message text you give us so like uh, invalid airline import uh, receive the message ID to the same variable message save check for errors no errors activate the component now the component is activated go with the browser refresh our current uh, now give the airline ID as AA American Airlines and submit now you can see all the Amer American Airlines flight details here with a status message valid airline if you are choosing Air Berlin submit you can see that it's an invalid airline In the same way if you are going to choose Singapore Airlines submit you can see it's a valid airline and all the details of Singapore Airlines are here So that's it. Uh, be done with our application. So I'll I'll meet you in the next video tutorial. Bye.